The Battle of Manila, 1570, was fought in Manila between the native Filipinos led by Raja Suleiman, a vassal to the Sultan of Brunei and the Spaniards led by Martin de Goiti, Maestro de Campo on May 24, 1570. The forces under Goiti were victorious and as a result, Manila became the capital of the Spanish East Indies. Events by the late 1560s, Miguel López de Legazpi who had left Mexico with a retinue of Spanish and Mexican soldiers, was already searching for a more suitable place to establish the Spanish colonial capital, having found first Cebu and then Iloilo undesirable because insufficient food supplies and attacks by Portuguese pirates. He was in Cebu when he first heard about a well-supplied, fortified settlement to the north, and sent messages of friendship to its ruler, Raja Matanda, whom he addressed as King of Luzon. In 1570, Legazpi put Martin de Goiti in command of an expedition north to Manila and tasked him with negotiating the establishment of a Spanish fort there. De Goiti arrived in May 1570, anchored at Cavite on the mouth of Manila Bay. He was initially well received by Manila. S. Ruler Raja Matanda, who, as former commander of the naval forces of the Sultanate of Brunei, had already had dealings with the Magellan expedition in late 1521. Negotiations broke down, however, when another ruler, Raja Suleiman, arrived and began treating the Spanish belligerently, saying that the Tagalog people would not surrender their freedoms as easily as the painted Visayans did. The accounts of the Dagoiti mission report that Tondo S. ruler, Lakandula, sought to participate in these negotiations early on, but de Goiti intentionally ignored Lakandula because he wanted to focus on Manila, which Legaspi wanted to use as a headquarters because it was already fortified, whereas Tondo was not. By May 24, negotiations had broken down, and according to the Spanish accounts, their ships fired their cannon as a signal for the expedition boats to return. Whether or not this claim was true, the rulers of Manila perceived this to be an attack and as a result, Suleiman ordered an attack on the Spanish forces still within the city. The battle was very brief because it concluded with the settlement of Manila being set ablaze. The Spanish accounts claim that de Goiti ordered his men to set the fire. Historians today still debate whether this was true. Some historians believe it is more likely that the Manila forces themselves set fire to their settlement, because scorched earth retreats were a common military tactic among the peoples of the Philippine archipelago at the time. De Goiti proclaimed victory, symbolically claimed Manila on behalf of Spain, then quickly returned to Legazpi because he knew that his naval forces were outnumbered. Contemporary writers believe the survivors of Manila's forces would have fled across the river to Tondo and other neighboring towns. Aftermath In 1571, the Spaniards returned with their entire force consisting of 280 Spaniards and 600 native allies, this time led by Legazpi himself. They occupied Manila, and established a settlement there. On May 19, 1571, Legazpi gave the title city to the colony of Manila, a Kapampangan leader of the Maccabibi tribe, later identified as Tariq Suleiman, from Arabic Tark Sliman Tariq Suleiman, refused to submit to the Spaniards and, after failing to gain the support of the kings of Manila, Lacandula, Matanda, and Haganoy, Bulacan, gathered a force composed of Kapampangan warriors. He subsequent fought and lost the Battle of Bankasay Channel. The Spanish solidified their control over Manila and Legazpi was able to establish a municipal government for Manila on June 24, 1571, which eventually became the capital of the entire Spanish East Indies colony and subsequently the capital of the Philippines. The initial population of the city was around 250. References Sources Relation of the voyage in Luzon Sa Blair and Robertson the Philippine Islands, 1493-1803, Volume 3, 1569-1576, Scott, William Henry. Barangay, 16th Century Philippine Culture and Society. QC, Ateneo de Manila University Press, 1991.